Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can display a CTS views in an AV format in the Apple program. So this is a single CTS view and if you want to see how you can create CTS views, you can check the other videos. But this is a simple CTS view which basically tells service uh, this is for inventory goods receipt. And if I execute, if you notice, if I just execute, I get this too. Now, I want these details in an ALV format, you know, because they will not be executing the business, they will not be executing in the ADP or something, they will be they will be in the uh, SAP GUI or something. So, how we can do that? So, for that, we have to go here. I put this program, so I build this program and I'll paste this program. So, what, what you have to basically do is just change this CDS view name. And if I execute now, okay, it shows me the same details. Now let's do that. Uh, let's play another thing where I have some parameters or see. Let's see. But let's see this CDS view. And we will try to execute uh, this CDS view, whether we can get some details out of it. So once we execute this, and then we'll see if it has output and then we we'll try to uh, include in that cds include into that uh, alp format so what i'm going to do is just i'll click on execute okay so here you see i have all these informations okay now what i'm going to do is i'll just copy this zst 11 cds underscore po details so here i'll just change the name and I execute I activate it I change the code and now I execute the same format will come you see it's in an LV with all the things so in this way you can do you can, because not sometimes you are going to see serious views it's very important how you display it in the AM format okay? so that's it stay tuned to my channel and happy learning and if you like it share, share and subscribe to